Welcome to another episode of Racing and Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We had a previous episode on this car, uh, the Tamiya SRC 6000 uh, Solar Eagle. This is a solar powered uh, RC car. It, uh, it doesn't even run a battery, which is so cool. I mean, you could conceivably run this thing uh, indefinitely if you had the, uh, the, uh, the endurance to do so. Um, we're going to take a deeper look at this. Check out our, our video in the playlist um, in the comments. But this thing is so cool because literally before its time, uh, this is this was produced circa 1992. Uh, so this is a vintage to me, a vehicle. They don't make this anymore. Um, you can see the solar cells across the top here. There's three two and a half volt, 800 milliamp hour or 800 milliamp, not hour, um, 800 milliamp solar cells uh, so they're wired in series giving you seven and a half volts when that's under full charge uh, there's a capacitor in here so that actually stores the energy there's a meter here that tells you how charged that capacitor is you can think of a capacitor as essentially a, a battery right um, it, it's not gonna the, the charge is gonna degrade over time um, faster than a battery would but uh, in in this case it's serving as the battery because there is no battery in here um, the, it's very cool. There's a there's a Lexan under tray here. Again, you can see our previous video for um, a more in-depth discussion. But I uh, just wanted to look at the mechanicals and the equipment on this truck here. Um, super simple, super clean, right? Uh, there's not even a chassis besides this Lexan, right? The Lexan is actually serving as the chassis, both the bottom and the top Lexan chassis. So very, very rare to see a Lexan under tray under here, but they were really going for maximal um, aerodynamic efficiency here, right? You, the bottom is smooth. Uh, basically, the only um, openings are for the wheels, right? And even those cutouts and whatnot. Very cool. I mean, to me, it does a great job with these these details. Uh, and you can just see how simple this RC is here. There's a steering servo, right? Uh, super lightweight um, linkages there, right? The the knuckles. Um, this is the, the back of the capacity uh, meter or for the, uh, the capacitor. Um, the wiring is super simple. This is the, the combined, they made a combined radio receiver unit, speed control, uh, and you know all the electronics are basically integrated into one unit here. There's the motor, right? You can see the, the wiring also from the, um, the solar panel to the control unit, the control unit over to the motor. You know, they put in these uh, plugs here so you can disconnect stuff. The drivetrain is super simple, right? You've got the spur gear actually mounted directly to a foam tire here on an axle, right? So it doesn't get any simpler than this. Um, and just a pinion gear, uh, Velcro holding the, the top half of the Lexan body to the bottom half, right? You can see the, the, uh, the bolts, um, uh, the nuts and bolts holding the panels down onto the Lexan body. So just so cool to, to, to see this type of detail. Again, very reminiscent of the the solar racers of the 90s. So um, we're gonna go ahead and drop this on the ground and, and run it again. This time I'm gonna be behind the wheel. Um, Marcus told me, my buddy Marcus, who owns this car, not to crash it. Uh, let me turn it on first. Uh, be because uh, this system is delicate. Oh, del even even says on top, delicate instrument do not touch. So I shouldn't be touching the top like that. I'm gonna pop on the switch, the bottom of this. And we're going to see it go here. So by no means is this thing a rocket, but this is pretty fast. I was actually, I was telling Marcus, I was impressed by how fast this actually goes for a strictly solar powered vehicle. I had made a solar vehicle in the days of my youth, uh, and it was nowhere near this fast. Uh, granted, um, you know, my, I, I only use it one, one panel smaller than the, uh, the sub panels on this. This has three panels here. Looks like I took down the charge on that capacitor pretty quickly here. It's definitely slowing down. I'll let it charge up a little bit. And looks like the throttle trim is off a little as well. Let me just adjust that. tweaking out a little bit. Okay, here we go. We've got to adjust the, the throttle trim. But uh, I'll just let it charge up for a little bit. So cool to actually drive this car, right? Uh, such a treat. I mean, this is this is a, 
almost a, a 20, no, 20 plus year, 27 year old car now. Um, so, uh, you know, pretty rare in the world of RC. Um, you know, you can see the radio here. It's, it's, it's vintage, right? So it's a 27 megahertz. Um, but yeah, it's just in such great shape, this car. Yeah, you can even see that when we were showing the bottom, I mean, this, the suspension is pretty rudimentary, no shocks of any sort here. So we're, you're, not, you're definitely not going to bash this car, meaning run it hard or whatnot. You, you want a smooth surface. But so cool to drive this in person. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.